Then I got indicted a second time, and a third time, and a fourth time. And a lot of people said that that's why the black people like me, because they have been hurt so badly and discriminated against. And they actually viewed me as I'm being discriminated against. It's, it's been pretty. I think that's why the black people are so much on my side now, because they see what's happening to me happens to them. Does that make sense? I've heard that. When I did the mugshot in Atlanta, you know that mugshot is number one. Elvis Presley is Elvis Presley's number two, and Frank Sinatra is they, they had Frank Sinatra for fighting, and they had Elvis for, I don't know, something in a gas station. He tried to hold up a gas station. I don't know. Something like Elvis. So Elvis is number two, but he was always number one. My, my, the mugshot, we've all seen the mugshot. And you know who embraced it more than anybody else? The black population. It's incredible. You see black people walking around with my mugshot. You know, they do shirts and they sell them for $19 a piece. It's pretty amazing. These lights are so bright in my eyes that I can't see too many people out there. But uh, I can only see the black ones. I can't see any white ones, you see? That's how far I've come. That's how far I've come. That's a long, that's a long way, isn't it? These lights. Ah, uh, we've come a long way together. Say, Donald Trump didn't know this one from that one. I know exactly what the hell I'm... Don't forget, I'm up here now rapping to you guys for 45 minutes without any notes. You got to go back to my social media page and you got to look up the video that I did for February 22nd. All my videos are dated. Go back to my February 22nd video on what I did about Trump and Fox News and what they think about black culture. The stuff that you heard him say... That's what he thinks black culture is. He thinks black culture are criminals. He thinks black culture are t-shirts because he's not enmeshed in black culture unless it's making him money. And all of the racial undertones that he used, it was so, it was, it was nerve wracking. It was, it made my skin crawl, not because of what he said, because I've heard many white people talk the way he talked. Not all, but I've heard a lot of white people talk the way he talked because they don't understand what they're saying. It wasn't that. It was those black faces that he talked about in that audience that perpetuated the stereotype, that applauded the stereotype, that gave him accolades because of the stereotype. That's why he and many people like him continue to do what they do because they get black validation. Whenever you hear people of significant fame or fortune, Snoop, Ice Cube, Lil Wayne, Kodak Black, Killer Mike, those type people that come out and talk about politics when you've never heard them speak anything about politics before, they're doing it because somebody is paying them. The Republican Party needs your vote, black man. That's why they're targeting those people because they think that's all you are. Do you realize Killer Mike hasn't had an album since 2012 and the minute he started talking the way he talked he released the album and won three grammys name a person other than someone like a jay-z that could take an 11 year hiatus from rap and come back and in one year win three grammys how the fuck does that happen unless he got some kind of backing one of my favorite rappers of all time buster rhymes released the album in 2023 and you ass didn't hear about it did you trump went to south carolina pandered to those black folk and you ain't gonna never hear about it again. He got what he wanted. He won South Carolina and he won't never hear about it again. And again, it wasn't the fact that he is who he is. Maya Angelou told me to believe him. So I do. That wasn't the issue. The issue was those black people in the audience catered to the stereotype and let him get away with the stuff that he was saying. And because they laughed, he kept doing it. What do you think?